just move cargo and passengers all over the world, whether it's just household goods or whether we need to get it overseas like to a disclosed location. So it just all depends on what the world needs. This week we made it official. I'm going to Cuba. Now, back in 1928, President Coolidge came on a battleship. It took him three days to get here. It only took me three hours. For the first time ever, Air Force One has landed in Cuba, and this is our very first stop. To be tasked with One Alpha One support, that's the highest level missions that we work here. And so to support those successfully and be a part of something like that, especially a historic visit to Latin America, it's uh, very fulfilling. And I, you know, I'm just proud to work with the airmen here and to do a great job. We load pretty much anything from rolling stock like this or just household goods and even stuff to support the president. It feels pretty cool that we get to support the president every now and then, something that most people can't do every day. The fact that higher headquarters trusts us and tasks us to support the president, I think it says a ton about Team Travis. It shows that we have a reputation for coming through and providing, regardless of what type of mission, they're going to want to make sure they do the best job they can do, like whether it's a general cargo mission or presidential support. Now, is there a little bit of heightened sense of urgency with presidential support? Absolutely, because everyone knows that's top priority. We cannot delay it. We cannot have any issues with that at all. We're going to get calls from the White House. <laughs> There's not a mission that Travis can't handle. We do not accept mission failure, and we always excel at what we do. And so I think that's evident in the fact that we did get tasked and we were, we were chosen to support the president. Today, America chooses to cut loose the shackles of the past so as to reach for a better future for the Cuban people, for the American people, for our entire hemisphere, and for the world.